I'm Marissa Chaos from The Upcoming. Julian, why did you decide to adapt uh, David's story? Uh, well, I was, I was sent the script without any explanation, or the first draft of the script without any explanation of what the story was about. And so I started to read. I didn't know it was true or anything. I, I started to read and I was intrigued by the sort of characters and this ch idyllic childhood and then the sort of atmosphere of doom that seemed to be coming through. And then the sort of extraordinary roller coaster ride of this story uh, that it took you know, when it went into the city and uh, the financial crash and the sort of crazy antics that, um, that that happened. And then I found it incredibly moving and powerful at the end as, as, as there's some kind of redemption at the end. And then I found out it was true and I met David and it sort of felt like not only was it a story one wanted to, that should be told, um, but I thought it was very powerful and emotional and uh, I thought intriguing for an audience. And David, what was it like to see uh, your story on screen and uh, Mark Stanley playing adult you? <laughs> well, the, uh, it was quite a revelation, to be honest, because Mark had really studied me. And I didn't realize how much he studied me. So at times I was sitting there watching him doing facial expressions that I thought, I've seen that before. Of course, it's <laughs> been in a mirror. Um, but what I, it was most of the time, seeing myself being played on screen. Um, once you see the film, it's, it's quite an embarrassment, it's quite a humiliation that I feel like I endure every time I watch it. I do sweat through cold embarrassment, but, and I force myself through those scenes, and I try and focus on the fact of what I'm trying, what the story is trying to achieve, and what I want the story to achieve if I have my way. Um, but for me sitting there of an evening, when the lights go down, I feel every muscle in my body tense, I'll be honest, and um, especially tonight. Um, but I want it to do some good. I really do. And I want to try and, in many ways, use this story to turn the tables on the perpetrators. If this can become a pivotal moment in the understanding of child sexual abuse, and help, at the same time help a ton of people, I'll have a wry grin on my face deep down inside, having turned it back on them. That's the way I feel. It's almost a revenge trip, an intellectual revenge trip in a way. On this note, um, the film had a, uh, it suggested a hopeful ending, but I, I, wa I wanted to ask you if, if you could uh, expand a little bit on the complicated process of healing. Mm. Um, well, as an example, um, my son Seth, He's coming to the screening tonight. He's 21 now, and you last saw him, he was this big. The first six to seven years of, I don't want to say five years, of his existence, I was in the place you saw depicted in the film. And as a consequence, my, my relationship has always been bad with him. It never recovered. So I'm very much trying to use this moment to try and explain myself to him and use the film as a means of healing um, to be perfectly honest I'm dreading getting a phone call today that he's not coming that would be upsetting um, but right now I think he's in a place he understands me better he understands the shortcomings that were that I that were manifested themselves in me and I'm hoping that this is a my mate culpa in many respects, it's an opportunity for us to uh, get on the wavelength we should have been on when he was born. Thank you. Well, my fault, not his. Thank you for sharing this. Um, what made you decide that Julian was the right man for the job? <laughs> well, if Julian is Julian. Julian tr I trusted Julian. Yes. I mean, I remember standing at one particular scene in South Africa. I always stood like two inches behind him. But eventually I trusted more and more and I walked away and I, I knew it wasn't going to go down an alley that was going to frighten me, and more than I was frightened. But there was one particular scene and he turned to me at one point one evening and he said, you didn't like that, did you? Because I'd already said I hadn't seen a certain thing happen 
and then something happened, somebody, and it suggested it had, it, it, it suddenly expanded a fraction, just a fraction. And he was so acutely aware of my desire to make it exactly how I remember and exactly how it was, rather than any form of deviation. Mm. And I turned, he turned around and grinned at me and said, you didn't like that, I went, no. <laughs> that was the only, so it was complete and utter trust. It really was, and I needed to trust someone to do this. And finally, Julian, if I can just ask you, uh, you have a really great cast for the film. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like to work with them, especially uh, Mark Stanley and uh, Emily Beecham? Uh, they were fantastic. I mean, it, Mark Stanley in particular, obviously, it, he had to take a lot on. He had to really dive into David's subconscious. And, uh, you know, he, he prepared a lot. He, he talked to David a lot. He really understood it because part of the sort of challenge is that there's a mask uh, uh, in his persona and it's you just have to sort of hint at what's going on behind for a lot of the film and uh, Mark was one of those the actors we met in uh, in the in the pre-production who could really pull that off and also felt very rooted and believable in the environments the, of the city and in the home life um, so I was very very lucky and very very pleased to have him and obviously Emily um, who's got this sort of kind of unique presence really and obviously she, we very much see her from through David the prism of David sort of angst and uh, introduced through David so it was a challenge for her to to show you know to have this uh, the sort of the humor that she had and the um, strength really to to um, stand up against you know all the, the pressure that he was putting on her and come through and Emily's just a fantastic actor she just won in Cannes recently and uh, there was a great chemistry between them excellent thank you very much thanks